is the turn from, and we're gonna talk about forward inside counter. So forward inside to the backward inside. It's a difficult turn. That means that we have to try to sustain an inside edge in and an inside edge up. I need to enter my counter on the forward inside edge. So I'm gonna start on that line, facing my wall, which is perpendicular to my line. And because that's an, I'm on an inside edge, I'm gonna step facing the outside of the circle with the opposite hand in front. Now, as I get to the half of my curve, which, which is the top of that curve, I start transferring my upper body inside of the circle. So I'm gonna twist my upper body inside of the circle, getting my leg through so it ends up in front of me as I travel back to that general axis. So I'm here. From there, I need you to pretend that there is a door handle of the door which is behind you. And you wanna grab onto the door handle and close the door right in front of your face. We can pretend that we are grabbing onto something like a blanket and we are wrapping ourselves with that blanket. If that is too difficult to imagine, bring your right hand back at the end of the curve. And then as your blade goes through the curve, you're gonna end up with your right, left hand in front of your nose. Now let's go into the details. When we deal with inside edges, unlike the outsides, when we start facing the circle, we start facing outside of the circle. And why do we wanna do that? In order for us to curve, to force our blade to stay on the curve. Something has to happen. The easiest way to do it is to twist your upper body into the curve and your blade will follow the twist of your body. You won't have a choice. If you twist, your foot will turn. So if you twist, your blade will curve. Now, this is number one. Secondly, when we step onto an inside edge, we wanna lean inside of the circle Starting the curve of our blade, because our weight is inside of the circle, our blade will follow. And then we're gonna increase that by twisting our upper body into the circle. But at this point, in order for us to sustain the center over our foot, we will have to go from leaning in to lean up. Okay? So three bend, step on one, start twisting and bending on two, and get to the bottom of the curve in the position ready for the counter on three. Now, we got to the counter. Now we have to do it. That's when we're gonna imagine that we're closing the door on ourselves or wrapping ourselves in a blanket or simply moving our left hand all the way around so it ends up in front of our nose. Now, if you're like me facing one wall uh, with your right hand and the opposite wall with your left, with your screens being right there, you wanna go through the turn, twist your upper body, turn from forward to backwards, and end up pointing at the same wall with the same hand. But instead of that hand being behind you, it's gonna be in front of you. So we talked about the upper body. What does our free leg do? We got here. The way I like to explain it, which makes sense to me, might not make sense to you, but let me try, maybe it will. Just like what we did for an outside rocker, when I was telling you that someone grabbed your foot and your arm and pulled them away from you, unrolling the position, I wanna use the same analogy here. Pretend that someone grabbed your foot, only your foot though, and then that someone pulls your foot out as your blade turns and your foot turns in, in that someone's hand, okay? So my free legs foot does not move in relation to the space around me when my blade turns. So let's try that. Free bend, step on one, get through the top of the curve, start twisting and bending your knee and changing your knee, end up at the bottom of the curve for three. Now, your leg gonna be pulled out, towards that wall as your arm moves through 
twisting the upper body there for forcing your standing leg to turn. And then we end up in this position, exiting the count. And if you're trying to execute the forward inside counter on the ace, you can follow the exactly same steps. You're gonna start with the opposite hand in relation to your skating leg. You're gonna skate facing outside of the circle to the top of your curve. You're gonna twist into the circle as you pass the top. You get to the bottom of the curve, you turn your blade, and then you skate facing outside or inside of your circle. 